Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. And Q Mike. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hey. Hey, Rob. Hi. Hey, Oscar. Happy How Friday. Are you? Happy I'm Friday. Indeed. Do I well, know we're we, missing somebody? As yes. we look at you on this Zoom conference, the chair, she is empty, and I have to guess, did Mike pass? No. Okay. He's still well, that's alive, good. <laughs> still a poor sport. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway. Wait, did you feed him to the lions? No, not yet. Okay. So we're sure. taking a special trip once quarantine's <laughs> over. Carol Basket. <laughs> yeah. Carol Baskin, rather. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> so he's uh he's in the house. You've seen him. He's well. He's in the house. He's well. He's actually um about three feet to my left. Mm. And wow. Um, yeah, he has a little surprise, and we have a big we have a big reveal that we want to do. A big reveal. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. We thought it would be a little fun. All right. Sure. Well, this yeah, is something so, new on the show. So I cut Mike's hair. <laughs> and um, not because I wanted to at all, but because he asked me probably six, seven times. Um, and finally, well, you, he just. Well, mm -hmm. When you became certified as an esthetician, did you right. study hair cutting at all? You know, I didn't. And that's funny Great because question. Mike asked the same thing. He goes, you had to like take some kind of hair cutting yeah, in something. esthetician school. Something I remedial. Said, nope. Mm. Wow. Nope, I didn't. And I've never cut hair before. The but only other time that I have cut hair is when I was probably 13, 12. I cut my bangs and I put them all <laughs> together right here and I snipped them straight across and they made a rainbow. And yeah, you can't like, do it yeah. that way. <laughs> I thought you could. <laughs> I thought it'd be perfect. No, but it no, wasn't. It so Mike kind of like strong armed me into cutting his hair. He brought a chair in, <laughs> put it in our sh my shower because we have his hair back. Yeah, very sure. sure. So he put yeah. it in my shower and then put his little clippers in my hand and said, OK, this is what I want. So I did the best I could. Mm -hmm. And you guys will just have to tell me what you think. Okay, perfect. Time Mike? for the big reveal. Big reveal. Bring him in. Are you ready to come in? No. <laughs> well, you have to. The music's playing, baby. No, you have to. Mike, come oh, on. Be good come on, Mike. It's Don't make me bad. beg for you. No, okay. It's not that bad. Come I think on. He looks fantastic. It can't be terrible. No, it's probably oh, great. Oh, oh there's got his a steady hand. hand, a surgeon's hand. Yes. They're I did clippers. the best I could. They're clippers. And she knows I mean, if, the, if there's none, one thing that Carla I knows is beauty. I see a hand coming into the frame. Yes, uh, I see an arm. The captain sat down in his chair off camera. He is now coming on camera slowly. Uh, a true show. show. Hey, look at hey, you. Hey. <laughs> Bringing That's sexy. Uh, terrific. Can I see yeah. the sides if you don't mind? I mean, I did the best I could oh with my, my sides. Oh, my God. There's zero sides. Yeah. Hey, Mike, yeah, for a second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. He sure. does not. From it, the uh, front. does not. Yes, you know what it does? does. It slims the face to yeah, a certain extent. Yeah, he looks extent. good, doesn't he? With this um, If you look at him from here? the front, uh, da, 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 da. he looks great. From there the was front. a man that used yeah. to own an auto repair store that our family patronized, and his name was Jim Will, and he wore a toupee. And he wore a toupee for many years to a point when where he look had hair, it was gray, but the toupee never changed color. So mm. you could see a marvelous stripe down the side of his Why head. Why are you talking about effing toupees, Yeah, Rob? what is this? Because you think it, it looks, looks like, like a toupee. Bad. It looks like a toupee. That's because that's why, why I look like a you know what take that as a compliment because obviously it's perfect yes because everyone the first thing they think of when they see a toupee no, is um, that looks <gasps> perfect mike the you front guys. looks okay <laughs> yeah and you know what the headphones help a lot the sides oh, this is good for our broadcast but for anything else <laughs> in yes. like life no there are quite there's there's questions what's about, the problem i think it looks great on the sides look the at the sides, sides. they're um harsh it's short it's short yeah. But yeah. there's no tapering, there's no blending. Can I, I hate to ask this, can I see the back? Yeah, show them back. There's a, yeah. the, there's a problem. There's a, there's, yeah, there's, there's a what problem. happens is it's not just one good haircut, Mike. What you've got is four good haircuts. 
Uh, <laughs> I think it looks good. I do too. And you know what, Mike? That's all that matters. Is, Screw them. Is there a f- my coworkers suck. Is there a fade <laughs> involved? Was there any type of guard change? Yes. I went from the bottom. I went from a uh, ten to eight to six. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a ten would be that about four inches long. long. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I see Shannon. I see Shannon's into the vodka already. Oh hey, oh, yes. Shannon's. Yeah, Shannon's and, good. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Shannon. You want to speak? Cheers. Yeah, I'll give her well, the. Gotta, no, there you go, what? Peach. There you go. I can't. No, you Frankie. can't. You oh my can't. God, I hate pony. <laughs> why do you? Oh dear, are you having? What? Why do you? Why do you I'm hate stuck. pony? I'm stuck. Look, this cable. Well, why do you? His, the cable's I, too I short. Him. Oh yeah, because he's 135 pounds. I can't believe with right. all that he Before knows, she should not be connected to cable. Damn this it. Is, this yeah. is why every Friday I'm cranky. <laughs> but hey, be Rob, fair, it's not just that, Fridays. That, I guess a trip upstairs to the refrigerator isn't in the cards, huh? Well, Mike, you I your, thought... Get your ice bucket down right next to you like three inches from your face. It's called being prepared, and also yeah. the metal ball makes a nice sound. <laughs> I don't blame you, Rob. I like the sound, too. I like, I've got but zero But now ice. that space Jeez. that I see there uh, is normally occupied by someone, and I'm kind of curious Good as call, to Mike. Good call. Where, where, she, uh, where she might she be. She works until just before 8, and she's making every effort to make it to the bonus show. Uh, there was some screwed up scheduling today, and the, oh, the kid needed child care. And uh, she's very disappointed that she's not here right now, and she's going to be here soon. Oscar, uh, what did I what did I tell you? Well, my Your life I, depends did, on it, Rob. What, what did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shannon, that's a good shot. Just boobs <laughs> or, or hair. Shannon's yeah, boobs. One or the other. <laughs> uh, look, this is what I said earlier, and I stand by it, is Rob is trying to hide his wife from us. Absolutely. And, and, and look, and for the listeners that say, guys, how do you let him get away with it? Do we have a choice? The we don't man, have a choice. The man can make up any story he wants because he's in Leesburg and we don't have any spies or rats We don't out know there. what the truth we is. Know, she was there. Yeah, she might be She was there for, for both shows yeah. last week. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what that's right, because she, got, she was home in time. She has to work until eight because Max needs his care. She didn't have to work till the, oh, who's, look. who's Max? Yeah, Max. Max the is the kid she out. cares for. Yeah, but who, who who's working like... I mean, let's be honest. Who's really working these days not from home? Like, I think this whole Max thing is a ruse. I Do agree. you? Yeah. You yeah, probably are right then. Uh, oh, see? see <laughs> no, he's no, not no, the comeback. He, no. even, he, even he has no say he, he can't even be witty. No, no, no. no this is, the inter- this is exactly witty. what happened. This is yes, exactly yes. what happened. That's, Max, our, that's our star. You are effing me. With no. my star pupil, yep. with the star of the show, there are thousands of people now who are waiting for it her came because for Carrie, she's not you. A, she's a tornado. I and understand you, this. And I knew you would f me on this, yeah. and you have. I knew you mm. would do this. As mm. of bedtime last night, she was to be here. Now, what, what happened? Do you want to know? This is exactly what happened. Hand tell, to God. Tell us, Dorothy. Robert, oh, Jesus. what is I, you know what I'm getting? I expect her to duck in like a little after yeah, seven. An, no, F- now it's like she's going to try to make it for the bonus show. She's an F1 tornado. We would like to see her. She, I she, would love for her we, to be we, here. We, we, we struck gold. Not enough. Can't, Not enough. Can't you? I, like I honestly, I, I, I work, you should right. have paid her to stay home, Rob. Yes. <laughs> it's the matter. It's not a matter of the pay as much as the child needing care. Now, up until True. bedtime yesterday, How the old plan is the was child? this. Yeah, the Max uh, Max is uh, I believe he is fifteen or sixteen, mm. but he oh, has he has fifteen needs. or sixteen. He can Mike, drive to the mall. Special needs kid, okay? Yeah, yeah. all right. I'm easy. sorry. All right, okay. he digs and runs. But listen, here's the deal. Stop it. Oh, As of bed last night, and this is Mine's exactly what movie. happened. Robert was going to cover for Carrie at six o'clock so she could get home and showered in time for the show. Last yeah. night, overnight, Robert threw up. He's feeling better Eats. now. He has no temperature. He uh, seems COVID. to be okay, but it's not responsible for him to go and cover Too the ship. Too much drinking. Mm. He has a lot of drinking. Actually, I think mm-hmm. Mike, the reason he threw up is a great fat guy story in and of itself, as Robert has gotten into deep frying things since he's been oh. home so much, and his dinner last night was deep fried macaroni and cheese. Ugh. Aren't you concerned God. that maybe he's going to take the Spiewak way? Hey, R- hey, Oscar, why don't you choose one fight at a time and saying, get off my goddamn back? How about back? say, hey, son, maybe no, the you best know what? hobby Shush. for you with our history isn't Shush. deep frying Shush. things. Shush. <laughs> Shush you. Yeah, so, Mike. Listen the to thing Oscar. is, is that she is going <laughs> to shop, Carla. She's going to get out of there the minute she can, and she is very disappointed because she had a blast last week. She loved the positive feedback and all of that, no. but she has she a responsibility. Remember. To- she doesn't remember last week. No, but I told her a lot about it. She watched it, though, I'm sure, afterwards. 
Maybe, so, maybe well, it's, like Oscar, whatever you're about to say, don't say it. Oh, I was going to say maybe. Oh, Rob. We just yes. asked. I like your shirt. Hey, Carla, timing. Oscar was just a, <laughs> we can't, we can't Oscar, be losing. I apologize. Hey, we can't be losing the timing not, this early in the show. So mm-hmm. Look, so I'm not a professional. I know you're not. A, believe me, I know that. <laughs> the rules don't apply to me. I know. Me. I just wish we could. You know. Okay, I'll do better. By the way, you look lovely with the Boston. I like that. Look. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I do. Thanks. I, like I love this. Yeah. My favorite hat. Yeah. Uh, I like, have another hat coming yes. too later. Just so you know. I was gonna say <laughs> that maybe we should hope for the best. And we've got the lines are locked. The show is a go. No, I Karen know. Carrie knows how much she's wanted now. We know how mm-hmm. much uh, Rob is trying to keep her off air because he yes. doesn't want to steer uh, any of his uh, spotlight stolen from him. But I'll say this, that if she does not come on the program before right. the end of this show, that then means- The bonus show or, yeah, the bonus yeah, oh, show. And then the bonus show. Our, our right. broadcast uh, tonight. Yeah, yes. our broadcast tonight is going, that, there's going to be a problem. Agreed or, right. or, or disagree? Agreed or disagree? Uh, uh, me? Are you asking yes, me? Yes, I'm that? asking you, Michael Mara. Uh, I have an enormous problem with it because it's it's the it's the you know it's the uh, all, everybody in the boat rowing. Yes, everybody in yeah. the boat rowing. What about I hear you, Rob? Him. Do you have a problem with that? I have no Rob, problem with Rob, that. Rob, you have already, already effectively set the table mm. for the fact that she will not be here for the bonus. I disagree. Show. That's no, my, I think that's she's going to be here. <laughs> Carla. I think she's going to be here. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. She's going to be there with her boobies and all. What are those? Yes. Yeah. What Forgot giant, about those. Yeah. The Gonzas? Yeah, her boobies. No, her she's jelly, referring to the- Her jellied the, boobies. The edibles. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hope she has a couple of those in the car on the way home. Yeah, she probably <laughs> yeah. has a couple right now. That would be uh, that would be fine. Uh-huh. So, but but once again, though, no, I'm no disappointed. discussion. No, you're not. You're not. Oh, you how dare you, you say get, that? You, when I, I know because, that I'm going to sit down, it's going to be always, a problem like this. You are a sitting disappointment to me. You always oh, disappoint me. Man, you mm. disappoint me, Early and you disappoint me again. I think you're again. being a little harsh. This is. I have to be let, harsh. Let, let's do this. He's when used she to. He knows nothing show else. She's. She she's, knows nothing else. She is the disappointment. <laughs> There we have it. <laughs> Throwing her under the bus. 100 oh, percent because I when it. I closed my eyes last night, I thought it was all set, and then the whole thing falls apart today, and there's apparently nothing that can be done about it. No matter how many solutions I try to offer. Well, nothing. that's a shame. Nothing. Yeah, what about your daughter? It, she well, said, couldn't she have gone and like how about, swooped in? Yeah, what about her? What about, what about Rob? Her? What about Rob? Rob could have, you know. <laughs> Swoop in. <laughs> and had Rob not here for the yeah. oh, oh my god, we would have One of the problems is, is that because of, of the way Max is, he is only com- comfortable with certain people. Got it. Got All right, got so it, here, here's the question I have for you. Yes. Uh, what are you willing to put on the line for her? Oh, and I'm not talking. And question. I'm going to say by, uh, you know, by 15. At le- she has to be on for at least 15, well, 15 minutes. No, I think count. if she comes on, she'll stay on. Well, no, I'm not talking about that. T- t- timing wise, I'm talking like, about. Ow, it, will ow, she be here by 7:50 Eastern time? Yes. Yeah, so no, if she like will not. Not if she works until nearly eight. She'll, okay. she'll be so, okay. there at 8:30 for the last 15 minutes of the show. By 8:15. My prediction is 8:45. Oh, that show's oh. over then, man. You know what? Yeah. There no, that's go. the beginning of the bonus show, essentially. There, no, there this you, thing is seven. Is it the beginning of the bonus show? No, actually, 8:30 would be about. 8.30 oh, wait, would be wait, about wait, the no, beginning no, of the bonus 45 show. 7.45 is the beginning of the Yeah, I forgot. That's fine. Well, then you call her right now. You text he her right now and say to take a booby. He said 8.45 for clarification. So 7, 8.30, 8.45 gives her about 45 minutes. Correct? No, my well, no, that gives I, her I, an hour. Yeah, the, about, uh, roughly, yeah. From now? About the beginning of the, about the, the full hour of the bonus show if we have a little delay between the two. Fair. Well, I mean, I'm just trying. Hey, idiots, help the ma- math mind here, Rob. Yeah, I just, you're right. I just brain. Gave Jump you, in I and just tell gave me. you the math mind. So how long will she be? Will she be almost the entire bonus? If show? she yeah. gets here yes. at 8:45, our show here ends roughly at 8:25. So if she gets here right. at 8:45. Show continues. She's going to miss roughly 20 minutes of the bonus show. Well, for her for 40 minutes of the bonus show. There's the math. I mm-hmm. can I can accept that. Okay. All yeah, right. Then can we're you, good. Oscar, are you satisfied with I'm that? I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> okay. Good. I concur. I concur. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Doctor, well, cheers. Doctor, cheers. Doctor, Leonardo Doctor. DiCaprio in uh in uh, Catch Me If You Can. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. Doctor? Uh, Doctor? All right. Doctor? So let before like we us. get to the phone calls, and I know a lot of people are standing by that want to talk. Shannon, can we talk to you for just a minute since the lines are locked? I got her. I, I got her. She's ready. Can I, can I spit? Hi, how are how Hi. are you? 
How's Hi. it going? We we didn't talk to you at all last week. Really? How are how is everything going? How are you? Um, I'm doing well. Hanging in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday. Care to elaborate? Um, <laughs> no. All right. You you don't want to talk more? I mean, no, do you want to? Is not in the it mood? because of me? No, it's because of fucking Pony. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> That's a good start. Yes. All right, let's, uh, let's take a couple of phone calls. I don't like to go to the calls this early. Means I'm very disappointed, but that's okay. Disappointment is my life. Uh, the number is 888 more 888-920-6673. Hello, Mike O'Mara Show. You are on the air. Who is this? And where are you calling from? Hello? Caller. Hold on, this is on me. Oh, Go ahead. Caller, we'll try it again. Hello, sorry, caller. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Wes calling from New Freedom, Pennsylvania. New freedom, new <laughs> free dream. PA in the house. PA in the house. Hi, Wes. What's going on? What can we do for you, my friend? Well, I am uh, enjoying a uh, small pint sized serving of Black Box Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm going to have a fine Cameroon cigar in a Wonderful. little bit. And, Mike, I was listening to your show Wednesday, and you were talking about you and Carla and your age difference and how you got a little bit of guff, you know, from your friends when y'all first started out. Got and a lot actually, of guff. Actually, I know, I know right where you're at because uh, my girlfriend that I've been with for a year and four months, we have a little bit of an age difference ourselves. But I remember you saying you weren't looking for youth you know you were just looking for someone to get along with and amen uh, yep. mm -hmm. you like me did really mike said lucky. that yes <laughs> is that what you said yeah, really, you weren't you looking were, for I mean, youth don't don't fake it okay if you're gonna bust my balls carla you know do it <laughs> you were looking do, do for it. a hot piece of ass come on let's <laughs> be real <laughs> and you ended up falling in love with me well, we, anyway go ahead wes yeah. uh, my wife rudely interrupted please you continue. uh go ahead please no, I said, yeah, I wasn't looking for youth either. I wasn't even looking. It's just, you know, it just happened. And um, our age difference between me and my girlfriend actually is a little bit more than you and Carla. My girlfriend will be 34 next weekend. And I just turned back in March. And I don't know if y'all want like a soundboard ready for this, but I just turned 56. Ooh. But we, so we get along. I have never gotten along with any woman like I've gotten along with this woman. And we just, we match perfectly. And, and I wasn't looking for age or youth or, or whatever. I just, but whatever it was I was looking for, I found it. And I'm really glad I did. And he matches that, yeah. the, uh, the half plus seven rule. Because half of 50, oh. you, you were how old, sir? 58? 56. I just turned 56. All right, so if he's, uh, that's 28 plus 7, half of that is 28, and you add 7, 35. So that's, he's right in the right area. He's doing fine. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, we're, what we're, formula we're is that? Absolutely. That's, uh, that's the uh, Masters and Johnson's perv formula. <laughs> no, that's actually, that is, uh, that's been around for a long time, is that to determine the minimum age that you should or be able to date is cut your age in half and add 7. I never oh, knew so... that. I never knew that was a, that was a rule. So, don't for example, yeah, if you're try. 20, if you're 20, you can date a 17-year-old, although not legally, that's how the formula works out. If you're 30, you can date 22. If you're 40, you can date 27. Yes! <laughs> what about if you're 40, what's ours? If you're 42, you date... Uh, I'm not 42. Well, no, I know you're not 42, you're Well, 39. Mike, you're 60, so you can date 37 and up. I could date a 37-year-old? Yeah, I mean, well, I'm only maybe. 39, so yeah. so I could date somebody two years younger than you. Yeah, you could. Yeah, but you mm -hmm. wouldn't want to. But I wouldn't want to. There exactly. you go, sir. So, uh, what do your friends say about your relationship? Uh, they really haven't said much. My daughter was a little surprised. My daughter's 31. She was a little surprised, but she's she's met my girlfriend, and we spent time together, and and they say, hey, as long as we're happy, everything's mm -hmm. just fine. How long have you known this lady? Um, we met uh, about two and a half years ago. We knew each other for a couple of months. We went out for a couple of months and then just kind of went our separate ways. But a year later, the stars aligned and we managed to get back together again. And that's when it really clicked. So well, we've, uh, been together, uh, we've been together solid right, since okay. January. Of have you been okay. a cast okay. member on 98, a 90 Day Fiance? <laughs> <laughs> I have not. I have not. Have you thought of about course. taking the next step, sir? You keep saying girlfriend, two and a half years. You're saying you're speaking very highly. What about the, uh, you know, do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do, do. What yeah. about that? Well, 
we've we've kind of talked about it, brought it up. We're not against the idea, but we're but we're just saying for right now, we'll just you know take it as it goes right now and and just work with what we've got. I've been through two marriages, so I'm I, I had to. Yeah, I want to yeah. go to the third one or not? Up, but, I was there too. I was up. there too. Right, right. But Man, you know, it, it, I mean. You know, it works. Whatever, whatever I found, it absolutely works. We, is we she happy with the arrangement? Is she happy with the uh, non-married arrangement? Abs- yes, she is. I mean, she she's not against the idea, but she's not pushing for it. She said she could. You know, it doesn't have to happen. She's happy the way things are now. But if it did happen, she wouldn't be against it. We've has she been about. married, or ha- does she have any kids? She has two boys, thirteen and ten, but she has never been married. Oh, okay. Uh, this from Pony Boy, sir, if you don't mind um, fielding a question from uh, the peanut gallery in Fairfax. Entertaining uh, your question. It says, uh, it, did you like it when you could bounce a quarter off her ass? <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Oh, that's nice. That's rude. <laughs> Look at Shannon. Look at Shannon, like, really being disgusted by Pony. You are really mad at Pony tonight. You are really <laughs> mad at Pony tonight. That, everybody laughed. I laughed at the, uh, Shannon. I looked at Shannon. She went. <laughs> Sir, uh, congratulations so you seem very happy yeah it seems like Thank a great you. match have... and keep enjoying your free milk oh, we, do. <laughs> we, haven't, haven't, we haven't gotten monetary yet but bounced a few other things but we won't go into that <laughs> oh god wow okay yeah, that's not... <laughs> all right so thank you wes thank you wes from pennsylvania appreciate congratulations you. and thank congratulations. you for the call i appreciate that wes uh said he's 56 sounds like he's 83 <laughs> that's right <laughs> didn't you expect like well my girlfriend he's is 85 years old these, you know. we took up when she started at the <laughs> lockdown at the care facility these pretty young things they'll take it out of you you should that's know right. this, <laughs> dee, 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 dee. All right. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, that's the beginning and uh, estimated time of arrival for Carrie Spiewak. If you're counting at home, uh, that is going to be one hour and 30 minutes from now. One hour and 20 minutes Jeez. from now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's a burn. Sick How is burn. it a burn? It because you you know what? Because she's funny. This com- during, because she was a welcome shot for our list. Yeah, and then there yeah, are people yeah. that are disappointed. I agree. Right now. I agree. Carrie yeah. Fans. yeah, you no agree. One is but, more you don't, disappointed but you didn't than understand me. it. You Carrie didn't acts. understand it. Uh, you Carrie know, someday, acts. Rob, uh, Rob, someday you'll understand about what it means to please the listeners. Yeah, it's about mm. them, not you. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, stop it. Is there anything you'd like to say, Rob, before we start the show? Yeah, I'd like to kill myself. <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. We're on the entertainment yeah, funny capital boy. of the world. This is Wade Byard, the public information officer for Loudoun County Public Schools. The Mike O'Mara Show has decided to start now. Please make all necessary arrangements to listen. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. With Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana. And now, without further delay, here's Mike O'Mara. West Coasters, how are you? It's Hello. late night for us. Uh, cocktail party uh, number two on the Mike O'Mara show as uh, we are uh, well uh, enjoying all sorts of different levels of freedom across the country. But uh, we're going to be continuing to uh, do this. Uh, until we're not going to do it anymore. I can't say anything more than that. What? Uh, seven more weeks? Is that what you're no, saying? No, this is or? cocktail party number seven. Lucky number seven. Yeah. No, but if this you is wanted... the second. This is the second one we've done for the West Coast. Oh, I understand that, but I'm just saying that as as overall the seventh one. It's wild that we've been at this. That's 49 days right there. Boom. S- seven weeks we have been doing this. Are you yeah. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. You know, it's Time weird. Time flies when it you're does. having fun. I've had it, I've enjoyed it. I I, I like it. I, I, Time I don't flies know. when you can't breathe. It's uh, Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. We are live from the Podcast Village Studios and all over D.C. and uh, Florida and Leesburg, Virginia and Tracy, California, Blackwell, Oklahoma, Grand Chute, Wisconsin, Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania, Mason, Michigan and Canberra, Australia. The Mike O'Mara Show is on now and brought to you by My Bookie. Hey, quarantiners, we're looking at another weekend <laughs> with no sports. Nada, zippy, zed, bagel. Sad. Sad. Well, don't be. Sad. Don't be, don't be, don't be. No sports, no problem, because you've got my bookie. With games like blackjack, roulette, slots, war, and more, my bookie will make you want to stay inside. And the coolest, my bookie has live casino dealers online. They're right there. They can play blackjack with you right there, a real dealer. 
That's right. My bookie has professional dealers at their tables, live on site, twenty four seven. Plus, my bookie does esports too. Uh, wagers on virtual action like NBA two K twenty. I've signed up. I love it. You're gonna love it too. Hello, James Bond. James Bond <laughs> slot machine. Yes. <laughs> uh, we need it now more than ever. Uh, I haven't played in a while. I'll be honest with you. Uh, mm. Looking for the big W. Right. Just, uh, kind of eluded me, <laughs> like it sometimes does. Uh, you can trust an industry leader like MyBookie. They're reliable, upright, and best of all, they pay fast when you win. Visit MyBookie.ag. Use promo code TMOS for a 150% bonus on your Huge. first casino deposit. That's promo code TMOS to receive more than double your deposit in cash. A bonus all the way up to $750. Use the promo code TMOS to activate the offer. MyBoogie.ag. You spin, you win, you get paid. What? War. That's all I have to say. Do yeah. you guys remember playing War oh, when yeah, you were a I kid? Of course. Oh, I explained it to Mike this you week. Can play yeah. it. You, do you want to play it on my I love War. It was the best game. Best <laughs> thing. You can play it for hours. I would get hours. pissed, too. Yes. we got a deck oh. of cards right here. Yeah. We, we, can, we can simulate War. What is war. it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. Ha! God, I love that game. By the way, so, Mr. Rob Spiewak this evening is modeling the brand new TMOS hoodie. Mm -hmm. And you look good. Soon to be replaced by the brand, brand oh, new TMOS t-shirt. Mike, what? Mike, you're breaking news whenever it feels like breaking. Yes. This you is mean I, I, should, I shouldn't What's have... What's going on? Could, could I... I mean, is that... No, was I allowed or did I break a rule? No, it's up. It's running. It's, it's, it's gone. gone. It's it, good. It's, it's there. there. It's, it's there now? It's there, baby. When, when oh you say you want God. these done, they're done. And there's a copy in your email running. box. And it's it. up and running. Ready to go, right, man. Hold on. Yes. Uh, Oscar sent me a picture of it today. Uh, this is going to be on the same place where people got the, the uh, right t-shirts and hoodies. The hoodie and the t-shirt are sold out. This is the new go-to. We are doing a limited run of 200 t-shirts, and that is it. Super limited. Ooh. Super limited. Here's the new design. Yes. Front and back. Gorgeous. Front and back. There it there is. It is. There Perfect. it is. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, I'll show you the back, too. Here's the back. Oh, let me see that. that. Oh, how this cool is, cool is that? Brandon, this is the right, first the time yep. that the entire staff has been mentioned Tony on a T-shirt. and Maddie are on yeah. the shirt Very as well. Cool. Uh, like yeah, to, well, where are they at? Uh, oh, that, you, oh, shit. On the shirt. You got to let that go. You got to let that go. This is this was done pre-COVID-19. Uh, this is before <laughs> you and Carla joined the crew Hi. here. I'm a Logitech camera. I'm having trouble focusing <laughs> automatically. <laughs> the fuck do I have it to hold focus. it up there? Mike, it hey. focused just fine. It looks great. Yeah, just fine. It looks right, fantastic. Thank Sorry, thank you. I know Michael's playing Minecraft in the back. Yeah. yeah. So, so Mike, just for fun. Enough in mine. <laughs> you can go and click through right now. They're beautiful. They're what yes. is known as, I believe, comb spun cotton. Yes. They're extraordinarily soft. Let me say but this. the sizing is a little different. So there is a size chart. On our website, just make sure you check it so you get the right size for you, and they go up to 4X. So trust yeah, look, me, if you, it's going to be big styling. enough. If you're yeah. usually uh, th a 3X, maybe go 4X mm -hmm. in, in, the, in this style shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, breathable. They really look yeah, lovely. Yeah, they look absolutely Thank lovely. Thank you to our friend yeah. uh, at Chris uh, Chris Jones. Uh, Adaptive DC was kind of to make the actual design and design that from scratch. I love Something it. Beautiful. This is great. This I is didn't great. look at the back design that. that much. Yeah. Really what it is, it's got a, it. a virtual representation of the classic Shure 55 microphone. So it's a beautiful, cool design with yep. a boombox in there and graphic mm -hmm. representations of the entire cast. It's so nice. That is very, very nice, and uh, they'll be available. And this, by the way, this is how we keep chugging along mm -hmm. during these uh, difficult times for everybody where uh, we are still uh, in a state of flux. I feel as though we are kind of in a no-man's land where things are beginning to open around the country, but nobody really knows whether uh, it's going to yeah, be... Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. ...a cluster F, and I hope it's not a cluster F. And, I had uh, last night my first really vivid, horrifying COVID-19 dream. You did? Oh, yes. my God. What happened? Where I got... I got it, was very, it was one of those dreams that was so vivid COVID and lengthy toes? and detailed that Ooh. when I woke oh. up, I had to collect yeah, myself... Long. Um, because it was that horrifying. I dreamt that I got a notification that I came back. I had never been tested in real life, but in the dream I had, and the test came back positive. And so <gasps> it went mm. into total, like the procedure of going to the hospital, and they put me in a hazmat suit, and while I'm in the waiting room with my father, I look down, uh. and I've got this... <laughs> 
That was the last time I went to the hospital. I had this growth. I'm just, uh, I, will you slow down a little bit, please? Hey, tell yeah, we have he, plenty of time. I'm trying to pepper your story. No, I never pepper your stories with sound effects, but I'm poetry. Why don't you calm down? I'm doing All right, so start again. So you, I had a dream. The test, a dream, and it was so utterly vivid and real that when I woke up this morning, the first thing I did was collect my thoughts and double check that I really wasn't positive for COVID nineteen because it was really screwing with really screwing with my head. In the dream, I got in the mail, and I'm sure that's how they do it. I got in the (laughs) mail a letter that said, "You have tested positive for the coronavirus." And I said, well, that sucks. And so <laughs> I went immediately with my father to the hospital and they had me in the waiting room and they put me to the front of the line because I was positive. Right. And they said, well, you need to put on this this hazmat suit, which was laying out on a table. <laughs> and then and they said, and this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob's like, am I going to fit in that? And then my father says, well, now how are you going to be able to provide music at church? I said, oh. well, they're going to have to find someone else to do that. Yeah, yeah. thanks He's, for the pressure, Dad. So he said, let's get out of here uh, so we can isolate. And I said, that's a good idea. So we leave, but I leave <laughs> the hazmat suit at the hospital because I'm forgetful and a little worked up. And at this point, I look down and there so is what, a So huge... you and Dad were, and so, so you say my dad and I are walking out of the hospital. Right, we walk out of the hospital to get to his Hakuna car. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> phrase. Hakuna Matata. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Trying to say very upbeat. And I look down, and on my left shin, there is a huge bulging mass that's swollen. And I'm like, oh, oh that's God. weird. What's that mass? I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I said to my pop, I said, what do you think about this? And he looked oh. at it, and the, the, and the second time I looked at it, there's a swollen bump, and it's still all me. It's still all flesh and skin. But on top of it is a perfectly shaped box. But it's me. Oh. <laughs> and I said, well, this is, this is really acting fast. So I go down to touch it to see what it's like, the sensation. And it doesn't pop, but it goes back into my leg. And that I feel so like disgusting. this is so weird. And it goes down, so and my foot goes away, and my whole leg sort of inflates <laughs> Like a all water right, balloon. Right, this is really. Hey, so are you I'm taking acid here. in your dream? I mean, no, I'm just no. wondering. No, and I and and my dad said that doesn't look right. Where's your hazmat suit? I said <laughs> back at the hospital. He says, well, <laughs> let's get you home. Besides, we've got to get all the drinks to church too. And I said. Dad's really what? into church Dad. these days. Dad, yeah. Well, the, well, the thing church. is, so before we get to home, we go to the church that I used to go to when I was a kid, St. John's in McLean, and it's an octagonal church, big, big, big. Uh, chapel area and <laughs> I can't provide the music and I look and I notice that where they used to have in Catholic churches you know how they have the thing where you light a candle and yes. there's a statue yeah, of the Virgin yeah, Mary yeah, there yeah, yeah. Yeah. well they've ripped that all out and they've replaced it with drinks <laughs> ice cold drinks there's like beer and soda and wine and alcohol and the way and, church should be and I said to my dad I said they don't need me for drinks they got all this and when did they get rid of the candles he says we got to get home and that's when I woke up and it was it sounds goofy now but it was so vivid and real <laughs> did you live in the dream I woke up before yeah, the dream up. really came so, to an so end. So, Rob, yeah. Rob, what did you eat last night? That's a great last question. Night, like, what I, gave you this? Yeah. What, what uh, manifested usually this dream? They, yeah, usually they say you eat certain things and, like, you have weird dreams, possibly. I had two hot dogs for dinner. Ooh, the, see, that was it. So Man is lying. Two hot dogs don't don't fill me. Yeah, what oh, did you have at 10 o'clock at night? Well, no, but they're, they're the big Costco hot dogs and then a pint of Chunky Monkey ice cream. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> <laughs> that made it. There you go, Rob Spiewak. Happy time. <laughs> Junkie monkey. I hate you, Rob. <laughs> uh, Rob so obviously, Spiewak. I have to eat Halo time. Thanks for screaming over the microphone Sorry. when I'm trying to play my music and paint a picture with audio. <laughs> Junkie monkey. Spiewak refrigerator. President Survive and Spiewak. Everybody's talking. We're so good, we we got it. Chunky Monkey. Monkey. (laughs) (laughs) So, anyway, I guess English walnuts make me have bad dreams. 
Yeah, that stay away from that. Yeah. Stay yeah. away. English yeah. Walnuts, by the way, when I worked on the classical <laughs> station, that was my name. <laughs> <laughs> that was Beethoven's Eighth really? Symphony. I'm uh, I'm uh, English Walnuts. Nice to be with you on a beautiful day. All right, your phone calls are standing by. We're going to take more of them when we come back on the Mike O'Mara you Show. Don't have to be Tom Jones, mm. styling some Tom Jones on a Friday evening cocktail party. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope our numbers are up this week because they were all looking to see that superstar. Hope she, Hopefully she's going to be making it on the bonus show today. We can only hope. Yeah, Carrie. Very, very exciting. Asha's got his jack and diet. Shannon's got her vodka. Rob spiewak has got his uh, lemonade and uh, what is it? Sky vodka. Sky vodka. Carla's got a gin and tonic. A G&T, just like me. Let's have a pee. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll be right back with more fun on the Mike O'Mara show. I just don't think he'd eat a fish sandwich, Rob. It's just my no, opinion. No, but Mike, know. he wouldn't eat it, but he'd talk about it. He'd say it. Sounds good. Uh, welcome back to Tartar the Mike O'Mara sauce. show. <laughs> Mother's Day is fast approaching. What are you getting, Mom? Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, gift of memories? Ensuring uh, that your family legacy is digitally preserved so it can be passed down is just as important as creating these memories in the first place. Legacy Box helps bring new life to your old media by unlocking those trapped family memories and putting them on a modern digital format that's easy to use. Legacy Box is the way for you to preserve your past, and you can do it from your home. It's so easy. You pack and send. Legacy Box digitizes everything by hand, and then you enjoy. Mm. That's right, that you can mm. eat. Uh, Legacy Box, the world's largest digitizer of home movies and photos, and has helped over 750,000 families digitally preserve their past, including the O'Maras, the Spiwaks, and the Santana. Santana. Win the Favorite Kid Award this Mother's Day by giving your mom a uh, present she'll never forget. Uh, for a limited time, Legacy Box is running a 50% off Mother's Day special. Order your Legacy Box today to take advantage of this incredible offer. This is one of the best discounts they've ever offered. Legacy Box, perfect for you or for some for someone you love. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS and save 50% while supplies last. Thank you. Thank Quite you. a novel. Thank you. Quite a novel. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the show. Let's get right to your phone calls. Our phone number is 888-920-6673. Uh, hello, this is the Mike O'Mara Show. Uh, who are you and where are you calling from? Hi, gang. This is Rob, and I'm calling from Portland, Oregon. Hi, oh, Rob. Rob. Portland, Oregon. Uh, that is a part of the country. I always say this. I've never been there, but I'd love to get out to the Pacific Northwest and see what that uh, beautiful country is like. How are you, Rob? What's happening? I'm doing swell. I'm drinking a Hopworks Organic Tree Frog Pale Ooh. this afternoon. Do it's they have tree frogs idea, in think. Portland? What, what, Carla, what? What are you saying? I'm what? sorry, guys. I have to interrupt. I have breaking news. Oh, breaking What's news. That? This isn't good. Oh, what's going on? The TMOS shirt. There's an issue, Rob. <laughs> I heard. I heard. There's what a is big Rob, your problem. name doesn't have two Bs. Yeah, one B. In Just real life, it only yeah. has one B. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they're not. Hey, hey he the, can do it on the fly. Yeah, they're right? not can printed he fix it? yet. It's no oh, okay, problem. so it can yeah. be so it's fixable. Right, but I like okay. that he has Damn. such disrespect for you, Rob, that he dropped that B. Yeah, <laughs> I like that too. Yes. So, so the uh, the guy. I'd like can, a t-shirt uh, that has right. Mike, Rob, and Isker on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! So that so we can it'll fix be, it. It'll so. be fixed. How Unless, did you find that? By the way, what do you go into the kitchen to make? I thought you were making drinks. I was, but I had to come back in here. I thought it would be more of a big deal. Okay, I'll be back. All right, thank you. <laughs> Wow. Moment of the night. Wow. I love it. I love it. Wow. That was Prices the moment of the night. Woo -woo. <laughs> Mike, an alcoholic update real quick. Yeah. If you could hang on for a minute, Portland. Um, yeah. My bottle of vodka came with sun-ripened watermelon vodka sampled. Ooh. So I'm Are going to gonna, pour uh, that now. And by the way, Oscar it? would like to think this is what a full-size <laughs> bottle of vodka looks like in You've my hand. You've got big hands. I wish but I had it's big actually hands. an airport bottle. Airplane yeah. bottle. So I'm going to try the watermelon. Yeah. So Portland, oh, you know, wow. my dad used to live out there and he loved it. What's your favorite thing about your city? Well, um, I was actually going to say, give a shout out to uh, one of the essential workers that don't seem to be getting um, quite as much press. It's the beer delivery people. Because right now, uh, well, you may be aware that we've got a few breweries in town like 
more than 50 breweries in, in Portland proper. Yeah, it's and, a craft, um, it's a craft yeah. brew cra- capital Haven. of the world. It's really, really great. Very much so. Very much so. And so they're, they're figuring out how to make it work by uh, dropping it at your front porch and standing, you know, 10 feet away to make sure you're old enough to, to drink beer and, you know, they're on their way. So they're, they've saved by. Yeah, I, I have to say, you know, uh, how are people out there? Uh, because, you know, being in close proximity to the state of Washington where this thing allegedly began and then they mm-hmm. disproved that. They said it might have been around a lot earlier and not been Washington State where it all started. How do you find people are behaving and what are your parameters for the state of Oregon? What do they want you to do? When are they planning on opening? Uh, is it mandatory stay at home? I have no idea. What's going on in the state? So our, our governor uh, aligned with the governors of Washington and California really early um, Kate Brown basically issued the stay at home order. Uh, gosh, I've been working at home for two months now, probably six weeks ago. And, and as a result, I mean, we, we, we've seen a very flat curve, uh, for, through All this right. entire thing. All so, right. so yeah, I mean, it, it's very much worked. So we're, today was the first day that hospitals are allowed to do elective uh, procedures and, and very slowly we're going to start, uh, you know, extending. Rob's holding uh, up a picture of the governor. Is that the, uh, is that the governor? That's Kate Brown. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? She's actually, here's more of a, this is a more fun picture of her. I think she looks fun. Is she a fun governor? (laughs) Uh, What do they get? She's a technician. She's, she's doesn't have a tremendous personality, but she's a very good governor. She's effective. Mm, That's That's wonderful. Well, stay safe and enjoy your, uh, is that your go-to brewery that uh, provided you with the uh, beer? What is the beer again? Give them a plug. This is Hopworks. Uh, what is it? Organic Tree Frog Pale. I've, I've been. I've had three different breweries delivered to me over the last uh, few weeks. And like, how many of you had? How many? You sound drunk. Time. How many of you had? How many of you had? <laughs> no, I just sound like that normally. Uh, just this is the first one. First. Oh, one. I'm still working. Disappointing. Actually. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll all get drunker <laughs> as the show goes on. Oh, hey, listen. I'm, I'm though, you're just starting right your Thank second you, one. What's that? You're just starting your second one. Yeah, I'm starting my second one. This is my third drink. Already, I, I'm, I'm going by the half hour. How and, uh, dare you? Like, I'm so dare sorry. You. I, dare I am so sorry. Uh, Rob, what do you power, want? I'm gonna. This is my second. I'm gonna have to power through this one though because the watermelon vodka tastes like cucumber. It ain't great. Oh, I don't you hate vegetables. Yeah, I only like people that walk. Let's, let's, let's take another call. You know when he's angry, he's so much funnier. Oh, yeah. uh, let's go. Let Let's go to uh, the calls right now. Hello, uh, who's this? Where are you calling from? This is Dylan in DC. How you doing, everybody? Ah, what up? our our home base, Dylan. DC. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Uh, since your name is Dylan, let me give you a little. Who am I doing an impression of? Do you know? Bob Dylan. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I I mean, I am like. Really? You're that impressed? Who sings Abracadabra? Steve and uh, Steve Miller. Okay. Worst song That's, ever. Never. No, that is such a horrible good song. music. I no, you know what that is? That was the last that song. That was like one of the last gaps of a career going down. That was his last effort and not great. over. Oh, I see. I Steve Miller is another guy. Smoker. Oh, hey, I'm going to reach out and grab, and grab you. Him. The yeah. problem with Steve Miller, he's another one of those artists, a la Christopher Cross. The record company was not comfortable putting his picture on LPs. <laughs> Can't say not that a good looking all man. of his song. Yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, what can we do for you, Dylan? Uh, nothing, guys. I'm drinking a little bit of Tito's and some LaCroix. Actually, what Shannon was drinking last week, it's, it's oh. delicious. Shannon's drinking it this week, too. Yeah, Shannon's she's, got, she's there. She's there. If you want to order is... that cocktail at a bar, it's called a pony hater. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, is LaCroix, a f- uh, is that just soda water or is yeah, it's it just flavored? Soda. It's just yeah. soda. Flavored, flavored, flavored soda, soda water. Flavored soda. Flavored, flavored soda water. The okay, there she is. What? The flavor that I'm drinking is apple cranberry, and it's really Ooh. good. Ooh. Shannon, what is the uh, what is the flavor uh, that you are drinking right there? Let's see. The that Oscar. is. A- oh, sorry. Um, sorry. I'm back to uh, my key lime, LaCroix. <laughs> key lime. Yeah. It, is is, who makes it? Is it Pepsi or is it a Coke product? I think it's made by one of the big two. It's. I think is it's it RC. Some- is it RC Royal Crown? I'm, I'm quite interested. <laughs> is it low? Is it low carb, uh, Shannon? Oh, is it's it zero low, uh, calories. And zero it's, calories. It's naturally sweetened. Mm. So How many it, carbs? That might have yeah. carbs in it. How many carbohydrates in it? Zero. 
Zero Woo! carbs. Oh, we carbs. have to try that. Oh, Key next week. Key lime in the house. Next yeah. week, we're going to get some La Keto. Keto right here. Mm. Uh, hey, Dylan, enjoy. Okay, thanks for joining us uh, for the cocktail party tonight. Thanks, guys. Keep it up. Love you. Let's take uh, one more, then we have to take a break. Uh, hello, this is the Mike O'Mara Show cocktail party for Friday night. Hello, who's this, and uh, where are you calling from? This is Ronique from Las Vegas, Nevada. Ronique! Oh, oh I know a guy named Ronique. recently? <laughs> How you doing there? I saw a yes. post that you had put up on Facebook where I think you were standing over a beautiful vista with your arms outstretched like you were in a very beautiful place. I don't know whether it's a... Uh, Near your home of Vegas or somewhere else, but uh, but I saw it. So how are you, Renique? I'm doing well. How about everyone there? We're doing well. Happy we doing belated well. birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. man! Oh, double R. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I've seen your crown collection online. Uh, I hope you're holding <laughs> up okay in Vegas. Yeah, Renique, you're a beautiful I gotta, little boy. I, I gotta ask you because uh, you are in the hospitality industry out there in Las Vegas, and uh, my God, it was like it, so many news stories during this uh, pandemic. But your gov- uh your mayor, uh, your Good mayor, uh, but, uh, but <laughs> 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 what is that? Was there? How bad was the fallout for her uh, after her interview on CNN with Anderson Cooper? Well, it was bad. I mean, we all know it was bad. I mean, that goes without saying, but. Um, I, here in town, everyone, no matter if you voted for her or not, or, you know, it, it was just horrible because, I mean, she made it seem like the people of Las Vegas are idiots and we don't know what we're doing. And what she should have been doing was reassuring everyone what we were, what we were doing to get people mm-hmm. to come back to Vegas. Mm. Hey, yeah, man. Absolutely. Hey, man. That's a good answer. I, uh, Preach. Where, do you, uh, where do you think it sits right now? Because she obviously wants to get the, uh, the state open and the casinos open. Where does it all stand for those of us uh, – Especially those that do uh, maybe a radio show that would love to go back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, where where is uh, you, where, where where do things uh, where do things stand right now? Uh, I think right now everyone everything as of right now is going to be opening up on, on May fifteenth. Uh, well, I'm sorry, a soft opening, and then uh, we're going to go from there. I know a couple of casinos that's operated by MGM Resorts that's going to open up first. Uh, I believe it's Bellagio, um, and I want to say. The Aria, I want to say, is going to be opening up first, and then they're going to go go from there. Um, have a few restaurants and, and some of these casinos that's going to stay closed for right now. And I don't see like nightclubs and things like that uh, on a grand scale like ours probably won't open up until maybe July, if not uh, August. <laughs> Okay. Rob, okay. Rob is putting up a picture of Barbara Goodman. Yeah. Uh, Carolyn Goodman. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn Goodman. She I'm looks sorry. like she's Barbara been sitting... Goodman would be Alan's. <laughs> she looks like Alan she's... Goodman's wife. I'm so sorry. We are going That's to it. open the casinos. A soft opening. A Rob, soft so opening on May. Will 15th. they? Do, are you aware, uh, Ronnie? And I don't mean to make you the whole spokesperson for the city of Las Vegas, but you are a resident out there, and you are in the uh, hospitality biz. Uh, are there going to be? I think of casinos. Is there anywhere where you could spread that virus more? Are they going to have certain protocols like mandatory masks or anything like that when they open up Aria or Bellagio or places like that? Well, here's the thing. Uh, One of the things that that one of the, I believe, uh, the CEO of Wynn was saying that possibly having three people at a table, but you're still sitting literally within a foot and a half of each other. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous. To, you know, some games are probably going to have to be closed because you can't touch, you know, you're not going to be able to touch things like the cards. Even crap tables are probably not going to be open up first. They'll probably start yeah. with uh, hands-free uh, poker, hands-free blackjack, and go from there. What if they wow. had What if they had surrogates actually taking the cards? So, like, if what if I'm playing, but I'm not actually touching the cards, and they had an employee... Like actually dealing, like well, you know what? It's interesting you say that, Oscar, because you could have the dealer kind of run yeah. the game Box for everybody. Women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's and, and that's the problem there is that everyone's gonna literally be touching each other no matter what. You look at some game cards because these, <laughs> <laughs> these you know. I know this. I the Venetian is going to reinforce stronger than ever the "don't lick the dice" policy. <laughs> I even or kiss. even having. Even having this discussion with Renique, I believe my heart rate is increasing. Oh, it's I, know. I, I, know. I love yes. Vegas and Las Vegas gambling yes. so totally. I can't wait to get more. back. Oh, gambling. Please. Wow. Las well, Vegas gambling. Renique, stay safe yeah. out there, and uh, hopefully we will see you sooner than later. And our uh, best to all of our friends out there in the Vegas area. We, you know how much we love that town, my friend. 
Thank you very much, guys. You guys have a good one. Thanks, love you. That's uh, Renique, and uh, he's a really, really great uh, fan of the show and a wonderful guy out there. We have to take a break. When we come back, uh, we love taking phone calls, especially when I get a call from an old buddy like Renique, and uh, we'll continue with that. And uh, if you're counting, uh, we are within the hour of the uh, return of uh, Carrie Spear. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right, when we come back, you you know that Carla and I play Trouble, right? (laughs) Yeah, the problematic bubble. I'll let Carla tell her little story about... Don't get mad at me, Mike. Let me tell it my way. <laughs> All right, we'll do that when we come back. Looking All forward right. to that. Uh, Mike, anyway, I, I, Mike, I, I have a quick request. Yeah? Do you mind? And I know this is right in the middle of the show, so please, yes. I mean, no disrespect. Do you Go mind ahead. if I run downstairs to the second floor of Podcast Village to get my wife a longer cable so she doesn't just sit like she's being held hostage? She's mad at Pony. Uh, the prime director yes. of this show, I wouldn't necessarily think this for any other show, but for this show, the prime directive is to keep the wives happy. <laughs> right. Keep the wives happy. So go. I'm a scurry. Run, run right as fast right as back. you can. Right but you open her microphone up. Because I, will, before, I, I want you coming back before Carla her, starts her uh, a story. Her mic is you know? open. Her I'm mic here. Is I'm open. here. All right. Uh, Shannon, the foosball table. Uh, where do you line up on the uh, process? I know he's not going to get it. Somebody else bought it. Did you know that he was uh, consider? Yeah. considering purchasing a foosball table for the backyard. Ridiculous. The back, the back Did I ask yard? you? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I Did I say Shannon. that out loud? It's sorry. so ridiculous. Like, right? I appreciate that he's getting me a longer cable right now, but That's yeah. very nice. the yes, whole so foosball right. table thing? Right. No. Do you even like foosball? No. Who likes foosball? Right? And my son did when he was four. Jimmy has one in his bar, doesn't <laughs> Nobody, he, Rob? Carolyn Goodman loves foosball. Nobody <laughs> plays foosball. It's that thing with the twisties and the... Yeah. yeah. It yeah. pisses yeah, me off players. just yeah. to look at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where is... Uh, but now it's great because I don't get a chance to get... We don't get a chance to get the other side of Oscar's life. All right. What the other pel- questions? The Peloton. They got the Peloton yeah. to oh, yeah. I'm yes. sure you love that, though. Uh, give me the I review. Would. Give me the review on the Peloton oh, and how great. it's going. It's okay. Great. Today was actually the second time that I've used it, though. Yeah. So I'm a little lazy, and I only go for the 20 minute sessions. Oh, honey, you need to step yeah. that up. No, by it's okay. A, I mean, it's a just half. a trifle. It doesn't cost that much. Just use it like, when you want to. I have to. Wait, it costs a peloton. Dip my toe in it. <laughs> and Mike, we uh, still have a commercial to do. You oh, know we what, do. Rob? Oh, you yeah. Stink. I'm so. All right. And where's <laughs> Carrie? All right. <laughs> yeah, where is she? You better text her. Uh, this portion of our program is brought to you by Liquid IV. Yes. Here's one of the things I love most about Liquid IV. They're on a mission to change mm. the world. A wonderful company. Liquid IV is donating. What are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to do a commercial hands. here. Uh, Liquid IV is donating 2.3 million servings in response to COVID-19. They're donating to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military, which is awesome. Dehydration occurs daily in 75% of all people, which leads to headaches, brain fog, muscle fatigue, yeah. dry skin, and more. Mm-hmm. To stay hydrated with water alone, you'd have to drink eight full eight-ounce glasses of water We ain't a got day. time for that. You ain't got time for that. Ain't Thank got Nobody has time for that. Mm-mm. How's the gin going down? Is that oh, good? Going? So good. All right, good. Gin. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, there's gin. Uh, liquid IV, the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. And one serving provides the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water alone. Proper hydration can boost your immunity. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. We all need vitamin C, baby. Thank you, Carla. With no artificial flavors or preservatives. uh, And what was that? Excuse me? Did Rob hit his mic? Did Rob laugh at me? me. It was me laughing. Oh, I'm sorry. Because, again... Everyone sucks. They can't fix anything. And my microphone is way too loud. I can't even laugh without sounding like a maniac. That's okay. Uh, laugh all I you apologize. want. Uh, Liquid IV is uh, available nationwide at Target. Wholesale. <laughs> wholesale. Let Don't me start emphasize again. emphasize it. Liquid IV is available nationwide. <laughs> Rob was just giving you crap, Shannon. Rob was just giving you crap right I'll there. I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and his you ice cubes. What? <laughs> At this point, I'd welcome it. <laughs> Rob wants the sweet release of death. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Target, Whole Foods, and Costco, or you can get 25% off when you just go to liquidiv.com and use the code TMOS. 25% off anything you order when you use promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code TMOS. I was trying to finish that commercial, and when Rob said that, my mind just started to go like race. Like, how so? How, what was it thinking? I'm not, I shouldn't say this. No, it's not say, funny. say, say. No, say it. No, 
I wouldn't. I. This is true. This what? people are gonna go. You're gonna go. Uh, but it's mm. no. I would be. I, I can't even imagine fathom my level of what of devastation if uh, if Rob wasn't in my life. It would really kill me. Oh, what the fuck? Get out of here. It would really Get that out. is seriously it about me. the sweetest thing you've ever said. Aww. I would hate it. I would Rob, hate the Rob, idea. Rob. I worry about him sometimes. Rob. I truly worry Hello, about Rob. our You wouldn't Rob. feel so bad if you didn't spend the first 20 minutes yelling at me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. You well, have you seen his uh, feet? Right? I mean, they're oh, scary. Like, who they're... knows what's going on in that system? His Wait, feet are scary. Let's see if... What? what? His feet are scary. He's got big, ugly feet. Do you want to tell yeah. your story about trouble or not? Yeah. We, or you take a big sip. There we go. The broadcast professional is now going to get ready, and she's totally prepared to tell her little story. <laughs> well, well. Coming okay. down in three, two. Are you ready? You're going to interrupt I, everybody I'm, else. This is you. Floor is yours. You all right, well, come Jesus and talk about Christ. It. All right. Let <laughs> me tell you, I am married to one man that does not play well with me for some reason. Other people he might, but not me. He shows his ass. And yeah, just, I'm, I'm not a good. I think I'm a, good, I think I'm done I'm with trouble. I really is that think an expression, I'm done. or is he really dropping trout during the middle of the game? No, no he is throwing things. Oh my! Like the game, like and then also you like wanna, hitting. You wanna, you wanna, let me explain how you set up a story. You start well, at the you beginning. Well, you can help me out. Then you have all right. Carl and I have been playing uh, best of seven rounds of trouble, uh, the board Ooh. game for foot rubs. Almost every night of the and, week. And to put Michael to bed. And to put Michael to bed, which so, is so the, deal the is, chore, the evening chore. The deal is Michael know? puts Mike Mike puts Michael to bed Monday through Thursday, and I put him to bed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Because so, Mike like, has for, his nightclub act on the weekend that he has to do. <laughs> yeah, when I have to fly to Vegas <laughs> yeah. and do my nightclub. By the way, did Oscar go to Bowie yeah, to pick the up the cable um, for us? Uh, I know, Shannon? I was just thinking about that. He probably hey, don't mess with, don't mess with a good thing. He's gone. I love it. Well, well, that, that's that's probably uh, why. I mean, that's why I'm working with this shorty here. Uh, yeah, and I know I understand the frustration <laughs> when you're not comfortable and you want to be uh, taking calls and being on the show. I completely understand. So we play trouble because it's it's, it's really just fun. It's something. It's to been do. something that we'll and always we're both remember. Competitive, right? But right. just because you're an ass doesn't mean you're more competitive than I am because I'm very competitive. Oh but no, you're not competitive at, least I at all. Keep when you go, it in my when you pants. Go, <laughs> you do your little. What's your little, up? Winner in the house! Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 I know. yeah I know. <laughs> you know, I've worked with Mike a long time. I'm one of the longest relationships in his life. Hey, hey, and stop it. I'm jealous. Stop. Don't be. Someday, after I die, you can catch up on me. But the thing yeah. is, is that Mike is actually okay with losing. He doesn't like it, but he's okay with it. But if you're going to rub salt like that, he is not going to be happy. Okay, now listen. I don't do that all the time. But right. once is way too many. Don't okay. don't do so, it. So I can't so I can't say woohoo I won and then when he wins he can say woohoo he won. Well, like, at I don't the care. end of the game, at the end of the game, I had lost like four in a row. And yes. I'm not talking about four in a row games. I'm talking about four in a row best of seven no, matches. No, look, it does where, suck to lose four in a row. Yeah, I, he lost four in a row. I felt so bad for him. I let him in on my little trickaroo. Yeah, and I told she him. Said, how I put to too play. many men on the board at the yes, same time. Yes, that's why I always Aww. I'm sending him back. That's why home. she's always st- so. Uh, I, I gave him that okay, tip. Okay, now you're talking. Is that, I, 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 is now that we cheating? Give it, now it's like. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Is it cheating what? to put too many men on the board? That's like no. a, that's a penalty, no. isn't it? You roll no. a six, you get to move your man out of your home base and put right. him on the board. And what you can do, and by the way, when you roll a six, you also get to go again. So what yes. you do, Carl is the Carla strategy that by way the way has resulted in me losing four <laughs> matches in a row that she wanted to give me her secret strategy <laughs> that that made me lose six times in a row. I'm going back to play the way. That's I actually Mike, way. it's not Carla's, it was invented by Gary Kasparov. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Do you know who Gary Kasparov no, is? No, I don't. He's Highbrow boy. joking. Oscar, what happened to you? I know Bobby Fisher. I'm on Mike's side, and I hate Pony. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what happened, do you what hate happened to the cable? I went down to get all the cables. That So there's a special cable that there is for these headsets that Shannon's wearing right now. A proprietary right? cable. Yeah, a proprietary yeah. cable. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, it's so hard. It's the worst. And I went into our archives room where we have everything nicely or in like a beautiful array of cables mm-hmm. and I sat down there and I said you know what this entire time no one's accounted for extending these cables and the only people that sit there the most are Pony and Maddie and I'm not going right. to blame Maddie Maddie's the mayor's daughter I can't blame her right. I can blame, you gotta blame Pony. somebody Pony yeah it's yeah. Pony 
It's why Tony. wouldn't you want? Why wouldn't you want to move your head more than just like this? He's the cable guy. <laughs> well, I can that tell you why he no doesn't. Why he doesn't want to move his head because he's the crib keeper too. <laughs> <laughs> The whole time. We have to take a break. Uh, more of your phone calls. Uh, Carlo will finish up our trouble story. I threw, oh, yeah. I threw the board yeah, the he, other day. He I didn't throw the board. the board. I threw all the pieces out of the board. Yeah, by going he, to, he, he lifted it up and, and went. And one of her oh. yellow pieces. And then pieces. everything went everywhere. And then he put everything back together because he felt yeah. terrible. But, uh, her but there's yellow, only one missing piece. And yellow I'm yellow, piece. man. I'm yellow. And it's missing. And she and said, I'm missing. not I'm not getting on the floor and looking under the couch. I said, well, do you think I can? Yeah, you're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah why don't you use a never piece, play. Use a piece of lemon. <laughs> hey, on the board. We'll be right back with more on the uh, Mike O'Mara Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Coronavirus update. President Trump has announced that he will spend his independent... you got to mute her microphone. There, I got her. Uh, I got Oscar. her. I got her. Uh, she coronavirus know. update. President Trump has announced that he will spend his Independence Day watching the fireworks at Mount Rushmore. Thus bringing the number of rock-headed presidents that no longer do anything useful to five at that particular (laughs) national park. Restaurants in Georgia, Tennessee, and Alaska have been told they can reopen as long as workers distance themselves and avoid contact with patrons. In other words, the same policy used at the Georgetown Einstein Brothers Bagel uh, Bakery for years. Yummy. <laughs> I wanted to go. Uh, and a study says that virtual learning is causing grade inflation and false high GPAs due to lower standards. Yes. Local student Robert Spiewak III says, quote, party bonus. Uh, <laughs> Hey, this virus is going to get him into a college. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> but you don't need to uh, be book smart to know that you should shop at TMOS's shopping center. Get things from Target and Walmart and do it safely from home. Please yeah, do. Yeah. We appreciate that. Hit up MikeOmeraShow.com. The banner's right there. TMOS Shopping Center. Shop from home. Help us out. Tonight's homework is brought to you by Copy and Paste. See you at college <laughs> because knowledge is good. Wait, and click it like you mean it. No, yeah. do click it like you mean it, but absolutely text your friends and let them do their homework lick for it. you. Don't lick it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So tell everybody we played my fourth loss in the match, best of seven trouble for a foot rub. But I asked for, I asked for, uh, she beat me. She beat me at the fourth. And then I said, can we just do a double or nothing one game of trouble? Ooh. And I will rub so your I was feet. Nice, Hold on. Said, let okay. me finish. He's setting it up. God, this is why I throw the board. Hey, look, I want to talk too. I know you do, but you're gonna tell. I'm you guys setting talk it, all the time. But I like parties. It, this is fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm setting it up for you. Thank I'm just you, and I do put, appreciate that, honey. You do such a great job. Thank you. Appreciate it, honey. <laughs> so I asked for a double or nothing, twenty minute foot rub or or nothing, right? Yeah. Uh, and she beat me in that game, too. And that's when you can tell everybody what that's I That's when he picked up the game and went like this. Oh, no. And We're... then everything, all the little like little pieces, all the pegs. four, eight, twelve. Yeah, 16 pegs yep. went flying everywhere. Oh, I'm like, no. I looked at him. I'm like, 16 that is pegs. like so what do you get? Get? <laughs> Another day older and deeper in debt. Hey, listen. I love Michael. my soul to the company store. <laughs> Be, do, 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 so do, I love do, you, but why do you feel like you have to? You can behave that way in front of me. I don't. know. I mean, how would you feel it's if I did that? Really? Yeah. Why no, do you have not. to rage it's... to engage? Really? Um, That's good, Oscar. Thank you. I don't know. It's really bad behavior. I just yeah. Why do you feel like you that. can get away with it? Because I have of to me. be on the golf course. I have to be in control uh, around my friends. Although yeah. I wasn't today. By the way, that golf. Yeah. That, so that, like when that you're heavy playing, putter that I bought, that extra heavy putter. No, I didn't know you bought one. You load That's 16 tens. Not in the budget. This is Tennessee People Ernie Ford. A man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. I don't know this. That's weak and a Isn't it awesome, strong. Oscar? I like it. 16 white guy. Tons. What do you get? No? No. He's not white. <laughs> St. <laughs> Peter, don't you call me cause I can't All right. go. Uh, I owe let me my see. soul to the company store. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure where. Oh, I got a few minutes here to take some phone calls. So we'll yes. do that. Oh, yeah. They're, uh, they're stacked. So, Mike. you damn poor sport. So, you're done with your story? You're done? You get, every, well, get it I'm all just off saying, your chest? Carla, st- he's the worst. But let's remember, he, he, he pays the mortgage. 
That's hey, true. You know what, Oscar? Look at me. You see my eyes? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Shush. <laughs> Let's I'd like to say that I know that everyone on hold, everyone that's on hold can hear our voices down the line. Before we go to calls, please know this. When we take your call, let Mike win. Please. Thank you. <laughs> please, please, please. Hey, Rob, you know that better than anyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Dude. here she goes. Oh, hey, Carla's all ramped up. Yeah. Uh, sounds like okay. Carla's liver just rolled a six. There we go. Because she's moving her men out. Let's take a phone call. Hello, Michael Marisha. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. This is Chris from Bel Air, Maryland. How are you? Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris from Bel Air. What can we do for you on this fine Friday evening? I might need a recommendation for a divorce attorney because the look that my oh. husband just gave me is not good. Oh, I can no. give you one. <laughs> hey. You just, called into the show? Like, yeah. I'm drunk, oh. and that's what I do. I'm a drunk dialer. That's good. Uh-huh. We that good. love yeah. you, yeah. Chris. We so, love you. So yes. Carla, us, Carla, let me talk to the caller. Can we caller. tell her to tell us her deepest, darkest secret? Okay. She's Carla talking. wants you to tell us your deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> Do I really sound like that? Yeah, you sound okay. Okay. Almost. 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 Oh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Well, Call. don't tell my family because I'm from a very, very Catholic family. Mm-hmm. Okay. I married a man who was married once before. <gasps> oh, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> and we lived together before we got married. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> you dirty girl. Now, why is he, what, Chris, why is he worried about you calling in uh, after you've had a cocktail or two? Well, it, well, I am a drunk dialer, and that's my personality. But we were sitting here as you started, and I said, okay, Jim, if you had to pick one of the three guys, who do you most relate with? And he goes, oh, probably Mike, but sometimes Rob. And I'm like, who do you think I relate to? He goes, ooh, probably Rob, and, I, and sometimes Oscar. So we realized that family-wise, Jim is more Rob and I'm more Oscar, but when it comes to our personalities – he is totally you when he loses it. And I'm Rob where I don't like conflict. And I'm a VCU grad, so we're perfect. And All right, I get it. Yeah, so it just, it was hilarious. I'm like, um, and I'm drunk, so it makes perfect sense. By the <laughs> way, I have go. to say that the phrase, I'm a VCU grad and it's perfect, never go together. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you this, though. Chris, too. <laughs> Chris, you are the perfect caller. This is yes. what we do this for. This is what it's all about. Tell your husband that we were delighted with your phone call. It was perfect, and we appreciate it. You killed. Yes, well, nice job. I would, I've never killed anybody, and I did work in healthcare. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Bye, you doing one-liners. Love you guys. Thank you, Chris. Drinking with you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. That's Chris from uh, Bel Air. Got time Salud. for uh, uh, one more. We got we're up on breaks here, unfortunately. Yeah. Hello, Mike O'Mara show. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Well, this is Paul from Denver, Colorado. Ooh. Hi, Paul. How are you? <laughs> uh, I am well. I'm just getting ready to make me a cocktail. It's a little bit earlier here than there. What are you? Uh, what are you uh, firing up there? Is it something with chocolate in it? <laughs> it is not. It is going to be a vodka tonic. Oh, Ooh, a vodka, vodka tonic. tonic. Easy. All right. Is it going to be regular tonic or diet tonic? It's going to be, used to be Craigmont, but now it's Signature Select. Oh, it's Ooh, a Safeway oh, brand. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Safeway, <laughs> Safeway brand soda was Craigmont. I know all the Safeway brands. Uh, but yeah, Craigmont used to have all the weird flavors like fruit punch and grapefruit, and then their, uh, their fake Dr. Pepper was called Skipper. Because <laughs> <laughs> I worked at Safeway, and my mom worked at Safeway forever. So the Safeway brand was Cragmont? Yeah, they also for a while had Safeway brown b- brand beer that was called uh, Brown Derby. Oh, wow. There was wow. Uh, Lucerne was their dairy knockoff. And, was it uh, all good? It's all good. Was it good? good? Yeah, yeah. It's the same like company, right? Stuff. It's the same company. Yeah, I like actually like their fruited sodas, like grapefruit soda yeah. you can't find. That was good. If I had been Ooh. a drinking man in those days, it would have been an excellent mixer. Yeah. Okay, and remember so this. Have- yeah, Safeway brand ahead. white bread. The UPS code, the uh, barcode is two one one three zero eighteen zero two six because it never scanned, and I had to key it so many times in the cash register. That is the ten digit code for Safeway uh, white sandwich Good bread. Good times, baby. Yeah, <laughs> sunnier days, Rob. Sunny well, days. My, uh, my friend, uh, you're Cragmont. You're firing it up. Is there anything else we can do for you? Yeah, speaking of Carrie, I'm not disappointed. I'm disappointed she's not there, but I'm more disappointed in Rob. He calls himself a TV aficionado, 
Merv Griffin, aficionado, John aficionado. Carson, That's fine. No big deal. Sorry. Mm-hmm. They would always have a backup if a guest wasn't there. They had Tony Randall. <laughs> they had Charles Nelson Riley on speed call. Yeah. Where's your backup, Rob? Yeah, Rob. I called Tony Randall and I was shocked to find out he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's it let's take one more before we go to the break thank you uh, for the call hello mike O'Mara show who's this where are you calling from hello caller hello caller hey, i'm sorry i my i'm sorry it's joel in richmond how are you oh hey joel hi joel so i i feel like i owe you an apology for my last joke and i i apologize apology accepted let's take another phone call <laughs> shannon thank you very much <laughs> We appreciate it. No, even a, look, certain things hold true. I respect, I'm I sorry. respect that. You can't, I respect that. You can't F up that no. many times on one call, not know you're on, then da ba dee da ba dee da ba da I mean, who's right? I saw Joe Biden. I saw Joe Biden on MSNBC today. It's worse than that. Yeah. Okay? I mean, really. I mean, He's having a great day, by the way. Biden, by the way. Come on. Talk to him, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who didn't want four more years? This guy who's going to get it? This guy, okay? Hey, Mr. Vice President. I don't talk like that. Have a Habity, habity, habity. I'm sorry. I was a little pissed this morning. Sorry. I was just a little pissed. I'm sorry. I don't blame you. Can't help it. Uh, we'll take one more and then we'll go to break. Hello, Mike O'Mara Show. Who's this? Hey, this is Chris Shagnon from Springfield, Virginia. Oh, nice. Springfield, Local. Virginia. We love that part of the world. We've got a lot of people that still listen you still live in there Springfield. Too. Yeah, you lived in Springfield. Yeah. Do you have anything you? disparaging yeah. to say about Springfield? No, not really. It's okay. kind of like a great place to live because you're you're 15 minutes from everything, really. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Hey, Oscar, that's where the Simpsons live. <laughs> hey, no, Missouri, that's, right? That's another Springfield. What can we I do for know. you, my friend? I was just wondering if Shannon could get up and show me the gun show. Oh, hey, Shannon. Uh, Shannon, this time. Yeah, I want to see it, too. Sir, wait, 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 wait a second, sir. Hold on, wait, it's here. just muscles. The only person that says, can I get a vueltita, which is a little spin around, is me. Oh, no, okay. he wants to see her arm muscles. She, he just wants to see oh. a little arm oh, flex. I it's the totally, gun show look, was you, like you know, it's, by the way, and these. It, no, 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 no. The no, gun no. show oh, okay. are the arms. Yeah, the yeah arms. let's see those, Shannon. Yes, uh, you know, Shannon uh, is very oh, fit. Oh, Carrie in the house. Oh, my oh. God. Shannon, let's see your guns. Let's see the, can you, would, you, you, mind fle- would that, you mind, would you mind? Now that Carrie's here. So no, 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 you. I want to see your no, guns. No flex for the. Yes, you do. Look, I see them right there. No, but I don't flex, so I don't know what you mean. Like yeah, this. She hasn't been working out I'm as much as she do usually no, does. Really All right, no, get no. off the line, you pervert. Thank you very much. I don't think that was perverted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no, uh, wait, no, no more requests. We have to take, I have to set something up because we have one last break here. And when we come back, the return of our new and get, <laughs> Rob, Rob, get the shot right too while yeah, we're going. More carry, less you. More carry, right. less you. Yeah, and we will, we will get the shot right and the return. Of a superstar, ladies and gentlemen, a lady who sprung onto the scene last week and was what the world was talking about. She's back. All the wives are here. We say we are not worthy. Carrie Spiewak will join us for the last part of the show and then be here, hopefully, for the entire bonus show. <laughs> yes. And uh, so get your edibles ready, and we will come back with more after the Mike O'Mara Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by our bonus packages. We're so glad that we have you here on our TMOS cocktail party. We're proud of this little mini tradition that uh, circumstances necessitated, and we're pleased that you're participating with all zeal. We hope that uh, it's a pleasant distraction for you all. Now, as uh, you look at the clock on the wall, you can see that this episode is almost over. Or is it? What? No, 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 my inebriated friends. Mm, As soon as this uh, shindig wraps, there's another hour ready to go. (laughs) That really sounded drunk. Ready to go. Rob's opening the champagne. That's good. Uh, more beer, more laughs. Talk about brew ha ha. Get it? Wow. It's a brew ha ha. Isn't that something? Or to quote the great Mel Allen, how about that? <laughs> Not Get a fan. That fan. Yeah, there's a fan. How about that? Yeah, Mel Allen. Terrible announcer, in my opinion. Sorry. Uh, yeah, oh, there's so many people who are going to be pissed at me for saying that. Uh, yes, a free stream of the bonus show is coming up. Listen before it hides behind the paywall. And please keep in mind that there are nearly 500 other commercial free, uncensored bonus shows available to you for just pennies a day at MikeOmeraShow.com. Now is the time to quit sucking. Buy it. Lord knows you've got the time. It's your passport to the Asport. Asport. Copyright. <laughs> 2020 TMOS, the TMOS bonus show, curing your burst of thirst as we give birth to mirth on earth with booze. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. 
Thank you, George. I guarantee it. Hello, Oscar. What do you have Mike, for some us? Some stage direction, if we could uh, get Rob uh, further to the right of, uh, and then get the mic moved over a little bit. Sure. Thank you. And a little more, if you don't mind. There you go. And then a little more, carry. There we go. Hey, and how about I'm going to do an impression okay. of Rob? Okay. Thank you. Tell me to move a little bit to the right. Okay? Uh, Mike, if you don't mind moving a little bit to the right. Okay, Oscar. I'll take care of it right away. Okay. <laughs> move you your <laughs> bottom move over to your the other ass. side. <laughs> Moving. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Give Carrie a little more level, is, please. Okay. Thank you. I did. Yes. All right, you. we're good. Now, now All we're right. the table set. Oh wait, why does she have a mic stand? Because How uh, because cool Rob is, is that? look at the mic stands in back. Rob's a microphone. Hey, can you send me one, please? Oh yeah, oh, what's you, the yours is what's on the, the way. It is. It's on the way. Oscar and I actually spoke about it this week. The Shannon, seven weeks? No, no, no. Shannon actually dropped it off at FedEx. Yeah, I shipped it oh, on then, uh, if, the other day. It should be there well, thank you. Monday. Of course. Thank uh, you. By the way, <laughs> Shannon, next week, hopefully Carla will have a mic stand. Uh, Carrie will have whatever she wants because yeah. that's what you give the star. <laughs> yes. And uh, Shannon will have the cable. Uh, Carla will have the mic stand. Everybody will be happy. And maybe we can do a <laughs> show. I'm looking at Rob right now. <laughs> Rob. The way your setup is now, because I guess it's just the way it is, you really have not been. And this kind of speaks he looks to scared. you. This is no, this speaks to him. You really haven't done a lot of preparation for having someone else uh, at that location. Well, no, to be, to, what's going on is that I'm at a desk. And as you know, a desk has like a so place where you put your legs underneath, right? And right. on one side, there's drawers, and the other side, there's drawers. Well, now I can't get to the underneath part. So I'm like, my knees are up against the drawers. And I don't want to. That's, that's right. <laughs> She's back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carrie Spiewak back to the show. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, apparently we did two shows last week. We did. We did two shows last week. Uh, you're back from uh, taking care of uh, Max. your family and mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, the other family, you, you, right. your second family you take care of. Mm -hmm. So uh, were you aware? La and by the way, I think we've only got like one minute before we kick it uh, to the bonus show. Kick it. But I will ask you this on the regular kick show, it. and Carrie will be joining us for the next hour. Uh, did you get some of uh, the feedback that we all read about you on the Fan show? Mail. People really, they loved having you on. Did that feel, did that feel good well i heard from uh rob because you know i'm not on any of your pages or anything yeah. no but you got you got, a lot <laughs> got rid of all that long time ago. you got a message from that guy in england yeah that was really that was nice really right really cool well, when you're ready to so, leave rob, you want to talk about know. it or you just want to sweep it under the rug well apparently i uh am welcome in england now so was it a Anytime. Was it somebody who was kind of like uh, professing his love and desire for you? Is that what it was? <laughs> and I wish. No, just for the show and, and uh, said it was nice to have me on the show. It was very effusive and flattering and very kind. It was well, a very sweet right, message. Now wait, wait, I'd wait. like to do an impression of Carrie's mic level and yeah. Rob's yeah. mic level. So Carrie is talking to me and I'm <laughs> hearing this. And then Rob comes Rob. on and it's like this. We're going to hey. need a little more hey, level. Rob, a, little Rob, more, teach, a, little, teach. a little more gain, if you don't mind, on your wife. And How are we also, doing, Rob? If you don't mind, Carrie. Can I talk closer? Oh, you sound so yes. much better. Yes, you're good. You're good. There we you go. Care of me. There you go. You sound Ooh. better. Uh, so, I mean, it was, it, look, here's the deal. I uh, I think everybody liked having you on. It's awfully fun for us to have, you know, for the time being, all of our significant others on this show, the way we're doing. And mm -hmm. uh, when I'm asking you, uh, you know, right now, before we uh, start celebrating a little more, uh, if the experience was good for you, and if it was a surprisingly good experience, or if there were any surprises at all about the way you perceived coming back on this show after what has been a hiatus. very long a hiatus. decade hiatus. <laughs> Not a decade. I've been on this show more than a decade. Okay, uh, maybe six years, long. seven years, six, seven years. Six, maybe. Seven years. Okay. <laughs> let's round well, it up. Too, too long. No, I, knew it, I knew it would be fun because I love all of you guys. And um, no, it, it was really fun. I just, uh, I just didn't know I went on for so long. It was wonderful. Oh no, you it, was it really was. And, and by the way, when you have a good, I contacted lots of friends. Oh, we discussed this. And Mike, as you know, when you're having a good time, time certainly does fly. So how could she know how long she was on because she was having such a good time? Exactly. <laughs> well, we it wasn't Dirk Champagne. Oh wow, it's awesome. Uh, well, listen, we uh, Oscar, did you want to say something? I'm yeah, so I just sorry. Wanna, I yeah. want to carry. Uh, Honestly, for us, it's a true pleasure and it's an honor. So thank you. Aww. And uh, as far as content is concerned, 
if you need anything that Rob isn't giving you, you let us know. Equipment yeah. wise, if you need a filter, you need a new uh, maybe rack, or you need a diamond you ring. A, a, a I don't need a new she, rack. She doesn't hey, need a new out. rack. That's for sure. Yeah. Sorry. Right on. Hey, she stole the line from me. I was right there ready for it. There we go. Whatever I'm used to talking about my breath. <laughs> Whatever you need that Rob isn't conveying to us, you can always go straight to Shannon or Carla or Mike or myself, and we'll get it for you. Yeah. Unless, Rob, of course, what it is is a sense of love and appreciation. Yeah. No one can provide that. Are you hitting on me, Oscar? No, I'm just letting you know. There's a bridge. There's oh, a bridge. That's great. Well, hey, who uh, knows? I might text you after the show. What do you mean, might? <laughs> All right, we got to, hey, look, that's it. We got to get out of here because, uh, I, Rob, I believe our time is up. Is it not? It was five minutes ago. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, we got to get out of here. We will continue. We're going to take a short break and then come right back with a bonus hour. Now, we're by not the way, going this, anywhere. We're not going anywhere. This bonus hour is free for you guys only for the live stream, only for the live version that we're offering you right now. And after that, uh, it goes into the bonus show content. And uh, a lot of people went back and got that. We love doing it this way, and we're happy to do it. For Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, Shannon and Carrie and Carla and Ponyboy Matt Bloom. What do you think of that? I'm uh, giving giving Ponyboy a credit there. Matty as well. Matty Massiello, Mm -hmm. all of our wonderful people. We'll be right back with more on the Michael Mara Show, everybody. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOMeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Thank God it's Friday! Michael Mera, Radio Entertainment. Just trying to have a little fun, folks, that's all. Should I tell people that I am a good at sex? Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. We feel sorry for people who don't drink because when you get up in the morning, that's as good as you're going to feel for the rest of the day. 